Post to My Wall is a great online app which you can make posters, videos and social media graphics so it's absolutely perfect for teachers and students. Um, and what's really nice about this is really anyone can do it. Um, you're presented with a template and you can move around the text, change the text, add photos, change photos, um, you know, so many opportunities. So um, the main things you can do is make a poster, which I'll be showing you in a moment, uh, create some really nice eye-catching school event posters, some schedules, um, and even videos as well. So, if I just click on create a poster, and we'll see how we can do this. So you're instantly met with this page. Um, as you can see, uh, what's really cool is you can actually make them interactive as well by adding videos um, or sound effects. I'll show you that later as well. Uh, so, loads of different categories at the top here. So you can keep scrolling and uh, you can notice that all of these are really, really eye-catching um, and they look great. So it's a great start to any poster. Um, the other thing you can do is if you want to make a poster, click a poster. You might want to make a web banner or a social media graphic so you can search the template by one of those. So I'm just going to click on the summer camp, it enlarges it so you have a better look. And I'm happy with that to my start. And it opens up the template. So um, the first things first is this is your basically your template that you can play around with, change, edit. Um, really, the world's your oyster. So um, I'm just going to show you what you can add and take away first. So we can have photos. You can add your own photos. You can add a stock photo. Uh, maybe one for Facebook, a Google Drive one, or a Dropbox. What I like about my photos is if you want to include your own, you know, school's children um, or pictures of an event, um, you can just do that quite easily. I'm just going to show you how to add a stock photo. So I'm going to put in school, and you've got loads to choose from. Uh, for the summer camp, maybe we'll focus on this one. So just add the photo in, and there it is straight away photo and you can resize it and you can rotate it so, so maybe just a tiny little tilt and I don't really like these graphics that are there already so I'm just gonna hit delete on those so click and delete nice and easy again maybe there's a bit too much text on here for me and my school so I'm gonna delete that too uh, you can also add media so you can add your own video and um, you can add a stop video um, you can even add audio or stop audio. So, in the same way as the photos, if you want to add more text, you can add plain text or some fancy text, which is more like word art. Uh, you can add a menu if you want with the layout. You can add a layout here, so a schedule or a menu or a table or tear off tabs. So, I'm just going to show you a quick table. So you might just want to put something like the pricing, so program one on our summer camp, and program two, just put the one in there. And it's again really easy, so I don't need the third column, so I'll just delete that, and I don't need the third row, so I'll delete that too. If you want to add more, you can, or we'll change the order, again really easy. So let's just pretend that's $1, nice and cheap and two dollars and then just add the table okay so well, it's just down here and it's not very visible um, but I'm going to show you um, how to um, change that in a bit uh, just other options you've got the clip art you can add loads of shapes or um, you know cartoons you can change the background if you want. Um, I'm quite happy with that background, so I'm not going to do that. And then handy undo and redo button as well. Okay, so coming over to this side, when you select something, so my picture first of all, um, you've got loads of options. So this goes into kind of more details. So you can change the order, copy it, uh, change the opacity, you can crop it down, um, replace it, put a mask on. Uh, all things you can have a play around with, they're really great. And also edge effects, 
So make it blend into the side, uh, which is a great idea to do. Um, again, I'm quite happy with it, um, but yeah, you can really, really have a play around with that. Um, and each feature, so here's my table, has its own individual option. Some of the same, like the order, uh, but things like um, you can change the font of each thing. Um, the thing I like the most is the uh, background. So I'm going to, I could choose this color, but to make it nice and consistent, I love the pick from design tool. So click on that, and I'll have it the same color as that. Obviously the opacity is a bit different, but I like that. It makes it nice and consistent. And that's the really nice thing about this. It gives you professional results. Okay, so let's have a look at what we can change with the text next. So let's choose, that font's not quite right for my school. You've got so many to choose from. So let's go for, hmm, what would be a good one? Maybe this one. And just click on there and it will change automatically. Okay, it's a little bit too big. So again, just, and then drag it. Okay. Again, loads of options. You can change the color as well if you want. I quite like the color. Uh, again, easy double click if you want to change the text. And you can move things around, backgrounds, whatever you want. Um, so that's the main things I wanted to show you today. Um, and what's really nice is really anything you can edit so even this um, background part of the background image maybe it's a bit too busy for you just delete it um, I personally quite like it um, but maybe I just want it out of the shot a little bit more so just move it around however you want okay so once you're happy with this here's my summer club let's just pretend I've um, put all the details of my school in um, you can save it Okay. Or just download it straight away. So, once you click the download button, I'd go for the photo quality download. Good quality there. And then it prepares your design. Okay, so you can choose from a JPEG, um, which is an image file. Um, there's lots of options actually. You can also go for the PDF, uh, whatever's best for you. PDFs are good for printing. I'd say the JPEG's good for posting online. So um, I'm gonna go for a JPEG. Just download it. So choose where you want to save it. It's already called Summer Camp Flyer, that's fine. Press the save. And there we have it, our poster. Saved as a nice image file. So what's great about this is now I've got my image file, I can um, share it with my team, um, you know, share it with the school, they can send it out to parents, and it's just really, really easy um, to do. Um, you might want to save it as a PDF, print it, um, and then you can send it at home as a flyer with the um, children as well. Um, another thing that I really like about this is you can set homework. Um, so I actually, a lot of the time, save my homework on a nice poster like this. The parents will really like it. And um, with all the instructions on, it might be a maths game or a grammar game, um, or maybe a, a design and technology project. Um, and then I put it on, um, we've got, we use Seesaw, which is um, like an online sharing website. Um, so that's really, really good for us. This is how you get your students involved. So it's not just for teachers creating um, the posters. Um, you can actually get your whole class involved in this. And because it's so simple, because you're given that template and it looks really good, and um, the children absolutely love it. So you can go here, upgrade to classroom account. And what that does is basically lets all your children um, onto the website. They can all create their amazing posters and it really, really works well. Uh, so I've used this for class projects. Um, students don't have to create an account, which is really good as well. Um, all the um, stock images um, are student appropriate as well, um, if you choose this option. Um, and they're never made public as well, the projects. So it's nice and safe for your children. Uh, so yeah, in 
the summary, Postal Mobile, highly recommended. Um, it works really well and I just think when you have a go at this, um, it does not take long just to figure things out um, because of its simplicity and simply because you're given that template. So yeah, have a, have a go.